Is that a buffalo? This is a security guard. I believe this was some sort of health clinic. I'm, I'm not going to intro you as to what happens next. That's a man with a rival. And that's a hero taking a man with a rival down. Ballsy guy indeed. Definition of a hero. Did not hesitate to act. Now this video goes on outside. We've got a, a security camera from outside. We're going to continue watching it. Well, let's watch this again. Boom. At least, at least the guy didn't come in spraying. And luckily he like fired a warning shot or he accidentally discharged into the wall there. Wasn't even pointing the, the gun at the, the security guard. That's the way you stop uh, a good guy with, or uh, the bad guy with a gun is a good guy with massive balls. Uh, we'll get the story here in a second, Mox. I want to just hit you with the video. This is some kind of a clinic. Happened on November 10th. This is last week. Video just coming out uh, in the last day or two. Crazy big balls. Not the kind not the kind that you kick. These are the kind of balls that you applaud. Buffalo police released video segments from two security cameras taken outside and inside of the Alba de Vita Substance Abuse Treatment Clinic on Virginia Street. Now just knowing that, a man was probably denied. He was probably denied care for whatever reason. Maybe acting erratic, but I hate to speculate. Thursday morning when a man armed with an AR-15, or maybe he was wanting to steal some drugs. The videos show how two security guards who police say were unarmed and two bystanders helped take down the suspect, Jeremy Griffin, 48, of Williamsville. I thought this was compelling enough to release, particularly to show the bravery of the security guards and the bystanders. First video is from the waiting room, taking, taken from a corner looking down into the small room. One guard wearing black and white stands in the middle by the partitioned reception desk and appears to tuck a pair of gloves into his pocket. He's looking towards the front door when a man in a dark hoodie, sweatshirt, holding an AR-15 style rifle, suddenly comes inside. Disposable thumb, good evening. Gunman fires a shot into the wall and the guard appears startled. He turns... <laughs> For somebody who was startled, he certainly uh, leapt into action. He turns around towards the glass door. Other workers inside also react, appearing to try to figure out which way to go. Then the guard gestures to people to get behind the desk, rushes straight at the gunman, grabbing at him and the rifle and pushing him into a tiny vestibule between the front door and the desk. The guard pushes him into a steel door next to the desk to struggle with the guard behind the gunman holding on to the firearm. The guard then forces the man toward the front door with his arm at the man's neck. The steel door by the desk opens, and the two men, including another security guard, come out. Second guard holding a clipboard rushes toward the first guard and the gunman. So this is a, a description of the events. Buffalo uh, Patrol officers uh, arrived moments later and took Griffin into custody. He was taken to Erie County Medical Center for an evaluation and then was assigned Friday, uh, was arraigned Friday on multiple felonies. He was assigned felonies. He was charged in a shooting that took place minutes before the encounter at the clinic. In the earlier shooting, he's accused of shooting a woman in the upper leg at a residence on Pennsylvania St uh, Street. He was charged in both incidents and was remanded to jail. Well, thank you. Thankfully, no one was killed in either of the is these incidents. Now, this is the security camera outside. Outside of the clinic.
So this is just a random bystander. He has on some some outfit that could be construed to be a guard, but that's just a random bystander. Like, oh crap, you got a dude with a gun here. Let me come in. I don't know that I would have done that. <laughs> Bravo to him, though. And then Larry Krasner released him. Oh! <laughs> Or maybe the other dude was a security guard and these and and this person coming by is a bystander. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not thinking dude, that guy disarmed him. <laughs> that he's got big balls. Yes. Yes indeed. So I, we don't really have any indication on the motive. I hate to speculate. If he shot someone moments before in the leg, I don't, we can't really draw the conclusion that he was targeting the clinic. Once again, this is all speculation on my part. But I mean, I'm a commentator. It's, it's kind of my thing. It's kind of what I do. But I always want to. I always want to specify. This is a fact. I'm reading you from a reputable source. This is my speculation that you should not trust. Have you heard the freaking news? YouTube, Facebook, and all of big tech are trying to do a cancel culture on Justin Freakin. Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. Help the channel stay alive and grow by subscribing or following, and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the fun, even when one platform tries to shut us up. He's kicking authority in the balls. If you have a despair and really want to show support, consider subbing on Twitch, becoming a patron, or a member on YouTube. You'll get access to extra delights and debauchery and you'll have my eternal appreciation. Thank you for being a freaking follower and have a great freaking day.